Hey, Master Gardeners, I could have used about 15 of you out here on this hot July day. We've been chasing green June beetles. And man, they're not so easy to catch. Anyway, the June beetle will hover around the turf. And at this time of the year, they're laying eggs. And so they're all over this yard. They're hovering all over top of this corn. They're flying back and forth. And the other thing that I believe is attracting them here is they'll feed on fruits and things. And there's apple trees, pear trees, and right behind us is a pear tree. And they've been hovering near there, but they're flying all around. They're mating and the females are now laying eggs in the ground. So they're flying in. So I caught one and I put him in the cooler here. So let me pull him out. I hope that he's slow enough that I can share it with you. I wanted to slow him down. So here's what they look like. Now, as, as he warms up, he's gonna start to move a little bit more quickly. But I got him chilled down. So there's your um, June beetle, also called a June bug, about an inch long. And I'm not an entomologist, so I don't know how to tell male from female, but they're flying and hovering, they drill holes, and they have huge larvae that live in the soil. And the larvae are much bigger than your Japanese beetle larvae. Japanese beetle larvae are about the size of a penny. These guys are more like a half dollar size. And the larvae do feed on the turf. They feed on mold and fungus in the ground. And they're, they're attracted to I think they're attracted to this yard because he has so many fruits and things. I can't say just what particular lawn they like, but people often call the extension office because they have problems with these guys hovering over their yard and the, the larva will feed on your turf and cause some damage, but never does it cause enough damage that you need to take any action on them. So this is the June beetle and, and she's a feeder. They're, oh good, she's holding still. Good, you got a nice view of her. I wish we could find you one burrowing in the ground and laying her eggs. There are a lot of natural predators. Moles will eat them. The bluebirds, the crows, the blue jays will all eat them. Um, even the skunks will dig them up. Oh, she's off. Even the skunks and the wildlife will eat them. There are so many birds in this yard, I'm surprised that they can even endure in here. But anyway, there's a few facts on the June beetle that you might see hovering in your yard.